Hey everyone, Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. And now we are doing another video on Benny the Warm Festival 2023. I'm listening to all of them, share my thoughts. And then of course, uh, when I'm done with all 18 entries, I will give you my personal ranking based on first impression. Oh, I listened to them again. Based on my personal liking, it's tough because it has been a fantastic lineup. No real like blah songs and hopefully that'll continue. We're almost done. But next up on my list is Twin Melody. We're going to get twins with Sayonara. And that should have been the last song would have been appropriate. But anyways, um, I'm going to listen to it right now and uh, see if uh, I like it or not. And... Regardless of my opinion, please like this video. Please, 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 please. Thank you. And now I'm going to um, hit play. Shake it up. I understand that part. Okay, this has a Spanish feel to it, for sure. I will say it sounds a little bit more like a demo to me, this version. But just, it's just the route they chose with the sound. In my head, I was thinking, oh, twins, they're going to sing together. They're going to have great harmonies. But that song certainly is not going for that, or at least not yet. Yeah, this is the kind of song that I don't have much to add. It's nice. I do like the clapping part. But here again, it seems like a little bit of a YouTube karaoke backtrack than the actual full version of the song. And they have a lot of like fun, upbeat songs in the running. I feel as this one, it's not quite as stand out ish. But it has really cool moments. Uh, that little pause that comes in there, I do like that. Yeah, this part as well. It's a pleasant melody. The rhythm, very comfortable. Everything about this feels like a cozy blanket. And um, that can work in their favor. That's all I have. <laughs> Look, this song doesn't really give me like a whole lot to work with. It is a fine song. Um, I have, it had pros and cons. And the pros are, of course, it has some cool moments. I love, it is a nice beat. Right? I mean, I get the rhythm is really nice to me. And I love where that pause, the clap. That's a cool moment. I can see the whole audience going crazy. I do like that part. And um, it is just catchy. It's just quite catchy. Absolutely. Um, the downsides is I'm not a fan of the track. I, I, not the whole song, but I'm talking about the backtrack. It seems like a demo version to me and just not like a full orchestrated piece. I'm talking about since it's not an orchestra, record, but you know what I mean? It didn't sound full. It didn't have as many, I use the word layers a lot. And that's basically what I will describe. It sounds like almost like a track of like a video game almost <laughs> from like the Super Nintendo. So, um, but yeah, I'm not as smitten by the production of this track itself. Um, and I do think that when you have two female singers running this to expect a little bit more harmonies or like bigger sounds, bigger vocals. So overall, the song fits right in. It blends in nicely, but we need standout songs. And this to me doesn't necessarily stand out a whole lot compared to some of the other tracks that we've heard so far. But by no means a bad song. It's just I think it is on the safe side and um, it's not underwhelming. It is whelming, and I wanted to get like, oh, and we got overwhelming songs here, and uh, this one just, it's fine. Um, that's at least my opinion. Maybe people actually do gravitate towards it. You know, sometimes it just clicks with a lot of people, and I missed that train. Did I miss that train, or are you with me on that one? Whatever it is, leave your thoughts below in the comment section, and I am moving on to the next video.